Hey, Colin here. I'm going to show you how to set up a new, pad, a new iPad and then also talk about some of the choices you can make for getting media onto your iPad. Now, in my situation, I'm thinking more about if you have a lot of iPads, you're setting up for in a school setting for kids to use. There's many times when you're going to want to load every iPad with the same piece of media, the same audio recording or the same group of movies or photos and have kids work with that. So let's go through this. Uh, first of all, I'm going to set this iPad as new. I'm going to say continue. I'm going to give it a little, you know, a name like my school name and a numbering system. And I'm going to add it. I'm going to ask it to automatically add photos and sync apps and things like that. But later on, I'm going to go in and tell it which songs and which photos as we go along, which photos I want on there, for example. I'm going to say done. And it starts doing its sync. I'm going to stop that for a second. And I'm going to take a look at some of the things here. For example, check for updates. If you need to update your iOS software for the iPad, then you can check and see if you need to do that here. The small software, the small updates, maybe not as important as the really large ones. Going from 4 to version 5, for example, was a big um, update, but it took a super long time to do. If you're... Uh, iPad's kind of wonky, working, uh, not working like the like. You can restore it. And I like to back up everything to this computer. I'm going to use my fantastic cart to sync everything and back it up here. So I'm not going to go through the cloud. If you have multiple iPads, backing up to the cloud on one account, it'll be next to impossible. If you have one, it's not such a big deal. But I'm going to go with the idea that we have more than one. Also here as well, when I go down, I can take a look if there's any other options I want to do, do here. And uh, yeah, and then when I'm going to go on to info, info here, because these are school computers, uh, school iPads, I apologize. Uh, I'm not going to do bookmarks. I, sorry, I'm not going to do... Be, now I'm going to move on to info. Because the... Now I'm going to move on to info. Because these are school iPads, I'm not going to go through and, um, and add my contacts or calendars or things like that. But what I will do is I'm going to sync the Safari bookmarks. And what that means is if, if I have a bookmark on my computer, it'll go to the iPad. Now, at this point, we're going to talk about different philosophies of getting media onto your multiple iPads in the best way possible. If there's a way of making a, a playlist of some sort, I'm going to use that and select that playlist and only stuff I stick in that playlist will go onto the iPad. Um, for some times though that won't work. For example, there's no movie playlist. So any movie I stick into iTunes at this point here is going to go on my iPad. And I'm just going to make sure that any movie or book or app for that matter that goes on this mothership that my, all my school la uh, iPads are connected to, I'm going to make sure it's for kids or teachers. I'm not going to have stuff on there that's inappropriate. Uh, I'm not going to try to hand select which apps. If it's on this computer, then I'm going to add it to my iPad. And I'll show you how to, what that means as we go along. So for example, let's go over to apps. So it's, it's syncing all the apps right now. That's great. If there's an app I don't want on here, I can go up to the, I can go up to the sidebar over here and these are all the apps that are on my computer. And at this point, they're all, you know, I want them all on my iPad, so I'm gonna, they're all here. If I don't want something here, I can just delete it. And I'm not going to delete it, but I can get rid of it. So all the apps that are in my list here are going to go on to my iPad, and I'm happy with that. I'm good with that. Also, uh, for example, there's music. Now, I'm going to sync music, but to be honest, I don't want all my music. Here's an opportunity where I, I have a playlist. So I'm going to say selected playlist, and then I'm just going to – I have this from the teacher playlist. So what I do is uh, whenever I want my kids to listen to something, I stick it in the from the teacher playlist. It happens to be right here, and then it will automatically go on my iPad. I don't have to handpick uh, a bunch of things 20 times and to get it to sync. If it's in the From the Teacher playlist, it's going to go on the iPads. Now that also works. I'm going to jump all the way over to Photos. Same with Photos. I don't want to sync all the photos. I'm going to sync Selected Albums, and I have a From the Teacher album. And then only those photos from the teacher 
will be selected over. So those are some examples of when you have a playlist and you can alter that playlist. Um, you can select the playlist and that, that media will go to your iPad. Now, for example, with movies, there is no, there is no playlist of movies. So I'm going to say sync movies and every movie I stick inside here will be, uh, I'll stick on the iPad. We'll go on the iPad. Here's examples of three kids work. I'm going to want to show that and share that. So that's going to come along for the ride. But if I didn't want it to uh, go to the iPad, I could just delete it out of here. Um, TV shows, I'm not going to sync TV shows. Podcasts, I could sync podcasts. I like to listen to the portable radio podcast from some teachers and students in Ottawa. So that comes along as well. And also books. Now books are also PDFs. So any PDF. So any PDF I drop in this area here will end up in this window and I'm going to sync everything along for the ride. There's no book list. There's no... Um, you know, there's no little way I can I can select different playlists for books. Everything in here, I'm going. It's going to go to the iPad. If I don't want it on the iPad, I just delete it out of here. Okay, and then so those are that's the way uh, that I've made my selections across here. When I'm all done, I say apply. Now you need to do that for all of your iPads that you're going to use at school. If you have 20, you got to do this 20 times so that everyone gets. Um, the, the playlist or the movies or things that you want uh, the kids to get. Anyways, I hope that's helpful. Uh, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.